Sydney played host to its first American president today and turned on the biggest welcome ever seen for any visitor. Over half a million people lined the streets in a show of welcome that clearly moved the president and Lady Bird. The motorcade was, however, halted on several occasions as placard-waving demonstrators lay on the road before being dragged away by police. The Premier of New South Wales, Mr. Askin, described the demonstration. Well, they would have to dwell on that one incident. There are other demonstrations too. Run the bastards over. And a few dozen people holding placards compared to half a million cheering him. Oh yeah, look at that. Several thousand demonstrators, and in one incident, a group of young girls. Wish I could come tonight. Uh, what would you do? Race up to him and pin one of your badges on him? You think it's just a phase I'm going through, don't you? placed under a tree in the artificial garden outside the gallery. And there was a brief scare when a firecracker was set off moments before the president... I don't enjoy seeing lists of people being killed and wounded over there, coming in every day. I think about them a lot. And about their families. But I believe what they are fighting for is important. What Phil's fighting for. It is something we agonise over. The Prime Minister as well. I just think you're wrong. And I would like for every Aussie that stands there in the rice paddies on this warm summer day to know that every American and LBJ is with Australia all the way. We believe it is right. We believe that it is right that the strong should help the weak defend their freedom. There is a widening community of people are beginning to feel responsible for what is happening in Vietnam. Of all the signs, this is the brightest. For the unilateral use of power is out of date in an age where there can be no losers in peace and where there can be no victors in war. All the gooks out, Lieutenant. Check out their IDs. They could be linked to that minefield back there. Yes, sir. And send the rest of them back the way they came. Yes, sir. OK, Sergeant, get those gooks out of there. Yes, sir. I'll move on to the RV. Choppers to do with the LZ at 1930. Sir. Open her up. All right, everyone out of the bus. Let's get the hell out now. Come on, beat him out, beat him out, D-Rock. Dee-rah, Dee-Dee Mal! Dee-Dee Mal! Dee-rah! Hurry up, let's go! Check that out, Halen. You live around here? No, I bring my father back from hospital. You come from B-Cat. No, I bring my father from hospital at Black Horse. <laughs> Moose, another for your collection, man. Yo. Oh. Finger oh. looking good. <laughs> <laughs> you VC, Papa Zong. Oh. Huh? You dig Ho Chi Minh? Hey, Papa zong has got no ID, man. He's no one. Please. Let him go, Halen. Stop fucking around. Listen, man. Damachek was my buddy. You think we should fuck around here for two weeks with the gook shitting on us and we ain't got nothing to show for it but three of our buddies wasted? Yeah. Maybe she's going down the road to meet some more VC pals. I'll bet you know all about mines, eh, baby Sam? <laughs> What's this? Australian pears. Army rations. Look at this, sir. We gotta hold these goops. Yeah, I, I guess. All right, you, move it out. Let's go, beat him out. Please, a friend, Australian soldier, he gave me for my father in hospital. You stole Aussie rations, baby son. 
Maybe off the bodies of some patrol you hit. No, no. She's a friend of Australian. Shut up, Papa Son. She's VC. She's stealing pears. For that, we're gonna screw her. Come on, Hale. What you doing? Hey, Lane. Come on, VC. You VC. Why are you doing this? UVC. <laughs> you and your buddies killed my pal back there. VC. 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 You gotta stop this. VC. Halen. The old man. He's got no ID. She's your friend of American, friend of you. You ain't got no ID, man. You're number 10. No! Jesus Christ! You don't exist. Moose, get me out of this thing. So what do you say, VC? You're gonna like this, honey child. Moose is the biggest in the land. and go first. Yo, Sarge, you don't pull rank on me. Moose, you always first. Make sure that VC goop down there is wasted, you hear? Sergeant, you a double veteran, boy? No, Sergeant. Windy it. We've got to have experienced men in this outfit. And you make sure Halen gets his ass up here in the double, you hear? She dead? What do you take me for? That's like one of those real ghoul movies, man. We did. You get a souvenir for yourself now, you hear? Good price on ears, Wendy. I gotta shoot you. I don't want to. I got to. I gotta shoot you.
We don't want your help. Go away. We don't want you. How is she? I got her into hospital. She's still in shock. I'm gonna keep her sedated for a few days. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. Who was it? Charlie? She probably wouldn't tell us even if she could. Now, that's the bloody trouble. I really like her. It takes a long time to get any kind of trust between one of them and one of us. I reckon I was really starting to get through to her. How's she gonna trust anyone now? Okay. Of course, we did have a film industry, flourishing film industry in the 20s and 30s. Remember the old Dad and Dave movies? I remember listening to Dad and Dave on the radio as a kid. That and Blue Hills. I have an aunt who still never misses an episode. <laughs> I think it's the longest running show in history of the earth. <laughs> <clears throat> Remember me? How could I forget? Crossing swords in a Saigon bar. <laughs> yes, and we never got a chance to finish. I was enjoying it. I had you on the run, I remember. As I recall, I was about to deliver a coup de grace. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, just a short holiday. My old boss brought me along. When do you go back? Next week, unfortunately. Well, you think they let me stay for Christmas? How are things over there? getting worse. On the surface, Key's doing a good job patching things up, but underneath it's as rotten as ever. Militarily, things are stabilising, though. No, I think it's beyond salvaging. Well, there's no morale in the South, no backbone, it's shot to bits. What, are you talking about the army? The people. You can't save a country that doesn't want to be saved. Well, it doesn't matter how many men the Yanks pour in. Hello, Douglas, you enjoying yourself? I think everyone's enjoying mm. themselves, don't you? Yes, I think everyone is in very high spirits. Mm -hmm. Prime Minister, do you know... Uh, yes, we met a while ago. That's why I came over. A bit of glamour. Get away from shop talk. An attractive girl like you is wasted in that godforsaken Saigon. Don't you think, that? Oh, you need a few odd bods to do the dirty work. And uh, what sort of dirty work um, are you talking about? Sounds intriguing. Anyway, I can see that I'm trespassing here. You two are obviously old friends, aren't you? Best keep circulating, I suppose. <clears throat> Is that typical? Oh, I think he's entitled to let his hair down a bit. He's just won an election. <laughs> Hi. Lori visited Lay again in hospital. She wants to see you. Maybe I could meet you there in Hung Tao. I only go for a day. I have to look after my sister's children. There'll still be time for a couple of hours. I know you don't like talking to me here. I don't know. I... How about Saturday? I've got some leave. You can never know. I might actually turn out to be a nice bloke. Please. I'm not going to go until you say yes. All right. I meet you. You go now. It's hard to believe there's a war going on. I see it in every face. You're a greater conversation, aren't you? Why you keep wanting to see me? I'm trying to do my bit for international relations. I'm going to show you what nice blokes we are. 
nice blocks. Yes. All right. You are a nice block. Sister Mary Fisherman. The one who was killed. Do you have any other brothers and sisters? Brother. Where's he? Saigon, maybe. You don't know. Maybe better not to know. Do you mind? Are you touching here? Does it matter? So just do not have to ask. I'm sorry. I like being with you too. But it's so hard. In war. Just this barrier. It's always there. Between us and the whole Vietnamese people. How's Lay? You went to the hospital? She's coming out of it slowly. At least she recognises me now. But her eyes have got this uh, panic in them. Bloody cheerful bastards you two are. Like could die laughing listening to the pair of you carrying on. Get stuff, there. The Prime Minister of South Vietnam, Air Vice Marshal Key, arrived in Canberra this morning at the start of a four-day visit. Prime Minister Harold Holt was on hand to welcome the Marshal and his wife and declared that Australia's resolve was stronger than ever to see the Vietnam War through to a victorious conclusion. Later in the day, the leader of the opposition, Mr. Colwell, addressed a small but noisy demonstration gathered outside Parliament House. A trio of local schoolgirls added their own comments to the occasion. I thought you might like to know that Phil will be coming home next week. That's fantastic! I think it might be fairest to him if you don't mention your recent activities. But he'll be out of it now. He's finished. I don't believe he'd be particularly pleased to know that you've been marching on demonstrations, saying what he's been doing is a waste of time. some oranges and an Australian magazine. There's lots of pictures in it anyway. It's nice you visit me. I look forward. Yeah. Something is wrong. Something 
Mr. Roll? No. No. I'm fine. Hello. Hello. I came to say goodbye. Oh, you leave New York. I leave Vietnam. I finished my tour. Tour? I thought it meant holiday. <laughs> it does actually. You happy to leave Vietnam? Yes. Pleased to be back in Australia. To your own home. Things will be okay here soon. Can I write to you? If you want. Will you write back? I try. I, I want you to take some pictures. Just send me the film. Don't worry about it getting it developed. I wish I could take you back to that fishing village. Yes. I wish to. Piecemeal up to now, waiting for the trouble spots to occur and then responding. But surely the bombing, that's been fairly comprehensive. It's hard to know how effective it is. It doesn't seem to have stopped the flow of arms and supplies so far. The most important thing we're doing is trying to win over the people. How come they need winning over? A lot of them see us and the VC as just as bad as each other. How do you get on with them? The Vietnamese you deal with personally. Well, some of them are lovely. One especially. And do you think we're winning? It's impossible to tell from where we are. But the only way we will win is if a majority of the South Vietnamese want us to. You're going to have an early night? Hmm. I got my second wind. I thought I might take Meg into the disco for old time's sake. I'll be very good. Whiskey's quicker. So, what are you going to do now, Phil? 
Get drunk? Hey, I'm going to Sydney in a couple of weeks. Maybe we could share a place. Looks like old Annie's still doing the rounds. No, no, that's a fiancé. He owns his place. You're not still smitten by any feeling, are you? <clears throat> Just catching up with the real world. You lose touch with the real world altogether if you keep drinking at this rate. the way you're going. Whose car is that? Sweet dreams. Hi, Phil. I'm glad you got back OK. Your congratulations are in order. Yeah, this is Derek, Phil. Nice to meet you, Derek. See you around, I hope. You wouldn't dare. Trying to do murder me? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's, not a, it's not a good idea. It's... What are you doing I... here? How did you get in? It's through the window. You're drunk. I'm back, though. I'm engaged. I know. So what did you come around for? To say hello. God, you've got a nerve. Seemed like a good idea at the time. I'll make us some coffee, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll go. Might as well stay now. Where I am? I don't think I'm in much danger. <sighs> I don't even know how I got here. Nor do I. You smell like a distillery. I feel like one. Go back to sleep. So when's the big day? You're supposed to be asleep. Hi. Just in time for dinner. You stayed at Rabbit's, did you? <laughs> yeah, I got a bit drunk. I didn't want to drive the car home. Yes. It turned up this afternoon behind a tow truck. It's in the garage. Nice of Mrs. Phelan to give them the address. Morning. Had any breakfast yet? I slept in because I was tired from the plane. Oh, till four o'clock in the afternoon? Allegations that South Vietnamese government forces have been involved in widespread torture and execution of Viet Cong prisoners were given further impetus today in a newly released report by a British television crew. The film appears to show South Vietnamese regular soldiers interrogating a suspect by repeatedly kicking and clubbing him with rifle butts. Oh my God. A second incident shows the use of water torture. A victim is held down, a towel placed over his face and water poured over the towel, slowly suffocating him. It's a dirty war. The release of the film in London has caused outrage amongst human rights activists. Hello. Just thought I'd drop in. Teresa, well? Look, that was just... My boyfriend's back now, anyway. How are things down here? Mm, pretty normal. Hectic social life. Feels back. Um, do you feel like coming for a ride? Yeah. All right. I got called up. No. I can finish my course at least. Maybe it'll uh, be over by then. Well, you're not going over there. Phil got through all right. I don't feel that I even know Phil anymore. Last night on television, they were showing torture victims. 
Phil was just so cold about it. Like he just didn't even care. Because that's where he's been. He's been seeing all that. The only way you could stay sane with that kind of thing going on around you would be to switch off. That's what he's done. I haven't worked three jobs to get through uni and get my head blown off. You're not gonna go. That's not what I meant. I'm free now. I always was. Serge, you're talking about the war. I went on a couple of demos and, well, it was sort of fun, a game. Now I've decided I really want to start getting involved, trying to stop it. You should want to become part of it too, because otherwise you're going to wake up one day and you'll be there. Something from Vietnam. You're going back, aren't you? the Americans have got a staggering. They're dropping the equivalent of the whole World War II Allied bombing of Germany every month. The North's punch drunk. How's your son? Thankful to be home in one piece, eh? What's he gonna do? He's going back. As a regular. I see. You, uh, you don't think that this personal involvement colours your objectivity at all. I suppose it does make you question yourself just a little bit harder when you've got a personal involvement right in the front line. It's a formidable conscience mechanism. Every politician should have one. Oh, well, um... <laughs> we live about three hours away, so... They're quite in demand, those three. Megan's lost interest in that Serge character. Hopefully. You think it's strange, don't you? Me going back. After two years in the services, I'd had quite enough. That was 1945. The war had ended. Well, seeing you are staying in, I don't see why you don't take out a commission. I'm not doing it as a career. As soon as we're finished over there, I'll be out. I'd have thought you'd approve. Seems you're one of the blokes that put us in there in the first place. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! I better check up on my parents. Uh, right 
You think I'm mad, don't you? How about you, man? You believe in what you're doing. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. Even the old man still can't believe it. No, you take care of yourself. And don't give Megan too much of a hard time. Oh, I've got a present for you. Oh. Just arrived in, apparently. First shipment. I reckon it's far out. I'll write and tell you what I think. Oh, I'm always a bit of a sook. Don't take any notice. in the belly of some great beast. Plain 
Just go sleep Turn the wire 